let's talk about debt a little bit. Okay, we talked about, you know, spending money on cars. Let's talk about debt. So basically, you know, this is some smart advice for the people at home. So I saw this article. I was like, you know what? Let's weigh in on this, right? So top money experts will go boom, 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 boom. They're basically giving their top advice about getting out of debt and understanding debt. So we're just going to go down the list here. There's five experts that we're going to talk about here. You tell me which one you think is the best advice. Of these five experts, you tell me which is the best advice. Okay. And we'll start off with the king of no debt, Ooh, Dave, Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. So Dave Ramsey says, decide you're done with debt. This is what Dave Ramsey has to say. He says, there could be no such thing as debt-free life without discipline. I agree with that. Quote, unquote, first things first, I'm popping. No, first things first, <laughs> decide you're done with debt. Yeah. Okay? Right now. Dave, Dave Ramsey hates debt. Okay? That means there's no more swiping that credit card, no more taking out personal loans, none of that stuff. If you can't pay for it in cash, you ain't buying it. Yeah. That's Dave Ramsey for you. So basically, how would I look at this? Treat debt like a crazy ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend. Okay? At some point, you got to cut that out of your life forever and never look back. Yeah. I haven't had debt in my life since I paid off my student loans. And it's an amazing feeling to not have to owe, owe anybody anything. anything. Yeah. Freaking great. Yeah. It's freaking great. I told Sally Mae, listen, you dirty ass. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm breaking up with you for good, Sally. Hey, Keep it moving. Shout out Sally and that's a great Mae. feeling. Whether you're paying off your, your student loans, your car loan, your credit card loan, a freaking mortgage somehow, to be debt free is an amazing feeling, an empowering feeling. I encourage oh. I highly encourage it. Oh, I'm choking up over here. All right. You know who else uh, does not? Love debt. Suze Orman? Susie Orman. Do you know who Susie is? Oh, Susie. Excuse me. No, I don't. Susie Orman is basically like the female Dave Ramsey. All right. Okay? She's got a... With better hair. Oh. Dave Ramsey has no There's, hair. There she is right there. Oh, there she is. Pull her up. There's Hi, Susie, Susie Orman. You ever seen her? No, but she Susie Orman mean. is probably... Yeah, she, she definitely doesn't have uh, the nice quality, I would say. She Susie Orman like basically says... Counselor. Sorry, go Yeah, on. she does. <laughs> Susie Orman actually looks like a Karen. I, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. Susie so, Karen Orman. I, yeah. Yes. There. She basically says, debt, <laughs> not all debt is created equal, says um, Karen Orman. Oh, come on. And it shouldn't be prioritized that way either, which I actually agree with. So basically, there's different levels to this. She said, I would not be tackling all in the same way. You know, so basically, you got student loans, you got mortgages, you got uh, car loans, you got credit card loans, you got consumer debt, right? You've got. Um, Cash advances, right? So what I call the C's of debt: college, yeah. credit cards, cars, consumer loans, credit um, credit cards. I said, um, cash advances. There's different levels to this stuff. Understand, there's three things if you're going to figure out debt: the name of the debt, the amount of the debt, and the interest yeah. rate that you're paying. And then you can utilize, you know, if you want to go the Dave Ramsey approach, you go the the debt snowball, pay it off, or you go the debt avalanche way, different ways. But there's levels to this thing. That's Susie Orman, aka According to David Karen. Third ah, piece of advice is from a lady me. named Farnoosh Torabi, hey. a.k.a. You're so money, baby. You're so money, you don't even know it. She's actually a pretty famous person in the personal finance world. She says, uh, um, uh, basically, you ever heard, set it and forget it. Set, set it and forget, forget it. it. You've heard yeah. that before. I actually believe that in investing. Listen, set yeah, it that's exactly and it. forget it. It doesn't work that necessarily that way when it comes to debt. She basically says this. like She gets the set it approach, especially if when it comes to... Um, Paying off debts and eliminating it. But one thing okay. you can't do is forget it. Okay? She says, yeah. she says, I like the set it part, but not the forget it part. She goes, that entails basically tuning out and hoping for the best. She ain't with that, and neither am I. That's Farnoosh Torabi. Number four. This is from a lady who's actually a big name in the, in the, um, the personal finance world. The Budgetista. Her real name is Ooh. Tiffany Alice Shea. She says, spend wisely, my friends, and only on essentials. So if you're in debt, you got to understand the difference between essential and non-essential. We learned the word essential for sure during COVID. Yeah, if you're an essential did. worker or a non-essential worker, you were no. Our friend Gerard got a non-essential tattoo on his neck. That's yeah, how yeah. non-essential he was during COVID. <laughs> um, the government came and tattooed yeah, that on him. Yeah, they said this ain't, ain't Listen, that buddy. essential, buddy. You <laughs> your jokes, your opinions they ain't essential. So he says the only way to real, well, real way to eliminate debt is to stop spending your way into it. Understand the difference between essential and non-essential. Couldn't agree more. You got needs, wants. Savings and debt. You've heard of the 50 30 20 rule? 50% yes. goes to your needs, 30% to your wants, 20% to your saving and paying off debt. Understand that the wants, they can be moving over to the uh, saving or paying off debt category. Boom, now you're living uh, debt free. And the last but not least is that money should not be a secret. 
when you're talking to your family, money is very taboo, right? Yeah. yeah. We don't talk about it in our much family. Are you how much you making? It's how much. Uh, what? Uh, what? You know how? What's your? What's your investment portfolio? You know, keep it in money, secret. So this guy's a New York Times bestseller. His name is Neil Godfrey. He says, "quote unquote, anything, anything that involves money and the exchange of value, can be used as a learning tool for your kids, okay, okay? or for young people in your family. Sure. There's no way to expect kids to grow up with a healthy attitude toward money, unless they know how it works. Of course. So don't keep it a secret. I, I meet with my eight-year-old nephew. I say, save that money. Oh, believe me, save that money. But I say, um, adorable if kid, you, by the way. Yeah, the best, Rory. I say, if you take out the garbage, yeah, I'm gonna give you five dollars. Okay. Yeah. And then sometimes I'll say, if you take out the garbage, I'll give you a quarter. And he's like, Nah, I'm good on the quarter. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, buddy. Yeah, I'm good, buddy. So he understands because when you're a kid, oh, a quarter, a dollar, we're like, understand the value, the fair exchange of. Okay, cool. Hey, if you do this, I'm going to give you $20. Oh, damn. What's up? What do we get? What do we got to do? Yeah. Hey, if you do this, I'm going to give you a shiny nickel. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> back, in, <laughs> back in my day. So I, this is all great advice. So shout out to Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, Farnoosh, the budgetista, yeah. and uh, the New York Times seller, Neil Godfrey. All good advice. All good advice. Because um, when you get out of debt, you can save that money. You can start investing. There's levels uh, to this stuff yeah. right there. Okay. Let's move on because nobody loves talking about debt. It's one of those I things that when you get it out of your life, you feel great. But when it's in your life, you're fra. All we talk is money. All we talk is money. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode or just stay broke.